Hey everyone, welcome back to this another Counter-Strike 2 tutorial. Welcome back to our channel because we're going to talk about resetting the in-game console. But before we dive into all of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Just like in any of its predecessors, Counter-Strike 2 has the ability to reset the in-game console and it provides several advantages for players in the community. That for one, it gives you a clear interface because the console often displays text and messages related to server commands, chat, and other information. So by resetting the console, it allows you to clear this clutter providing a cleaner and less distracting interface. So you can focus more on on gameplay. Uh, let's say, for example, you are playing a fast-paced and competitive game like CS2. Having a clear and uncluttered screen can help you focus better on the gameplay. So resetting the console is an, a practical choice because it ensures you don't miss any critical information or get distracted by unnecessary messages, right? And sometimes, personal messages or sensitive information might appear in the console. So resetting it helps maintain your privacy by removing such, such messages from view, right? So let's say if you're playing in a public server, uh, in the heat of a match, for example, it's essential to be able to read any important messages or tactical information that appears in the console quickly. So resetting the console ensures that you have a fresh and legible view of new messages. And also, I just wanted to point out that for more advanced players or server administrators, the console can be a valuable tool for debugging and server management. So resetting the console can help keep the debug information organized and easier to follow, right? So how do we do that? There's two ways to uh, fix your uh, reset your uh, console in CS2. All you got to do is hover to the setting here where it says... Um, Go to um, enable uh, developer uh, developer console. Just go to game and then in this part here, you should always tick it. If it's n no, you have to click it as yes. All right. Once you're done doing that, the that key is often used to open and close the console because b being able to reset it easily by opening and closing it can be more convenient than having to enter a specific command to clear messages. And there's also a, a second step for that to reset the console in CS2. All you gotta do is go to Task Manager, right-click the uh, CS2, and open file location. So here we are in the file location. And then hover to CF, uh, CFG. Uh, you can go. You can uh, go to just Steam library and user data, and then the config. And all you gotta do is open that in a new pad, save it, and close it. That's our wrap for today's video. And once again, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video as much as I did. Because obviously, uh, this video is our project and I hope it is helpful or at least entertaining to all of you guys. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up and by clicking that like button below. And I see you on the next one.